Hello, folks. It is really just a countdown to NHL 22 now. I am so pumped to play that game, but we still have a bit of a waiting game, unfortunately. Anyways, last time we did an all-Canadian players draft, and so this time we're going south of the border, and we are going to be doing a American-born players-only draft. So I'm going to randomize here, and we get, boom, Chicago. All right. Well, I was kind of Kind of hoping we got an American team. I mean, the odds were definitely in our favor. So, um, wasn't really thinking we were going to get a Canadian team, but I guess it's possible. Which draft position will we obtain here? I'm just going to... An absolute random shot in the dark. Obviously, there's no way. There is no skill behind this. It is a pure guess. Didn't get the chance. All right, well... I'll tell you, I wasn't going to say 28, that's for sure. I was pretty sure about Couturier being born in the US, and it says he was, but it also says... American-Canadian professional ice hockey players. I'm not sure why that is, but apparently he was born in Phoenix. So, yeah, I guess. Sean Couturier. I'm going to take Kyle Connor because this guy is just absolutely sick at what he does for a living. He plays hockey for a living, just in case you weren't aware. I'm going to go ahead and take Jeff Petrie. 87 overall. Great defender. I'm going to go ahead and take Ben Bishop. I, I don't know why all these people seem to be on good contracts for the most part, but I feel like all the players we've gotten so far aren't, you know, insane. Actually, they're not even... Like, a lot. That's pretty much nothing compared to what they should be at their overall. Well, I guess we might as well take someone that has a bit of a cap hit here. Why not take Captain America, so they call him, at least I believe. Joe Pavelski. Yeah, why not? Keith Yandel. Sonk. Sure. 6.3 milli. Sign him up. Well, I know he signed with Philly. I can't remember how much it was for, though, but I don't think it was a lot. He's on the screen. You know the rule. You know the rule. I have to take Timothy Jimothy. Josh Manson. 84 overall. Defenseman. On a pretty good contract, let's go ahead and sign that lad up. We do only have one centerman, so I think I'm going to take Tyler Johnson here as our most likely second line center. We can, in fact, take Alec Martinez. So, yeah, 83 overall, not bad at all. That's another good defenseman to add to the squad, which we only need two more. So, yeah, we're looking pretty solid right now. We could use a left winger to flesh out that second line unless we just have another position play that left wing anyway but yeah I think my main goal for this set of picks because you know we have two picks very close together is to take a goaltender and a left winger all right I am going to take Alex Stalick just because yeah I mean 82 overall and 700k that sounds like a pretty good steal to me you know what I'm actually going to take Nick Felino, 82 overall very solid player, can fit in on several lines, I would imagine. I'm cool with that. Hmm. Seems looking... I don't know. We might be able to pull it off. All right, we still have 25 mil left, so I can start signing some players that are maybe not so financially responsible, and Cam Atkinson will be one of them. All right, we can take Eric Johnson, and then we have five of our six defensemen. But, yeah, I mean, we really don't have a whole lot of cap to play around with here. Like, we... Have a decent amount, but, you know, it's nothing like we can just go sign whoever we want kind of thing. All right, we can sign up Blake Coleman, who's center slash left wing. So that's kind of favorable for us, and he's on a relatively good deal. Don't know if that's still his contract, but that's what it is here. So that's what really matters. I guess it's going to be a whole new set when NHL 22 comes out, and I'm doing these because I, I'm not going to know any contracts. Well, I mean, they're all going to be different. So, yeah, it's going to be really really huge in changing who I pick I would imagine anyway because right now I'm budgeting for certain players and trying to stay within the cap so when all the caps change maybe some players will be cheaper and I can grab them maybe some players will be more expensive and I can't grab them at times all right Connor Sheary's on a really good deal and we need our third line to be filled out there which I mean I don't even know how these lines are going to be put together honestly it's impossible to tell because um, I, well, I'm probably just going to do best lines because when I try to edit them and I give them chemistry, synergy, whatever the heck it's called, never works out for me. Our final defenseman will be John Moore. And then we have our, uh, I guess fourth line, maybe basically just, we need to pick one more of each forward position and then we will be done. Frank Vitrano up for grabs. 2.5 is definitely doable with the cap we have left. So that is going to be our final right winger, and then we have two more forward positions to fill, and we're ready to simulate. I think this team's going to be pretty good. Oh, I just saw Forbert. All right, someone, he's a right winger slash center. I'm sure we have someone else who can play on a different wing or something like that, so I'm just going to sign up Achari for now, 
And yeah, I mean, I, I, I do have confidence in this team. It looks pretty solid to me. All right. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take Marcus Foligno. And that way we are done here. So that's our last draft pick. Let's go put these lines together and see what EA does with them. Because I'm not touching them. Every time I do, it's a disaster. I'll literally get it to the chemistry is like 3-3-1-1. And we'll be losing miserably. I'll go back in, do best lines. It'll be like 0 one zero negative one and we start killing it just makes perfect sense draft complete that's just like the mode complete when i did the be a pro so there's our team i i don't know i think we're gonna be pretty solid but is it stanley cup winning solid i guess we'll find out only time will tell on that one all right moment of truth actually i'll sim to the regular season first it's just kind of what i do so that we are ready to go ready to rumble if you will so let's go ahead and get to the season and then from there, I will go ahead and officially edit the lines. There's like three pop-ups, I think. So there's been one already. That's the last two. Oh, never mind. I guess there wasn't one already. I was wrong. Moment of truth. Here we go. Edit lines. How are we? Ooh. Okay. So first of all, no. Second of all, I think I left Fog of War on. That's a rookie mistake. So now I'm not even sure if all the players are the overall I drafted the max. Isn't that sort of random too? Well, not random, but you know. Maybe not. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to scratch players here. We got to put in Shiri. Boom. All right. So on that note, actually what I'm going to do is go to roster moves and send the other ones down just so I can do best lines. And then we'll go from there. Okay, now let's do best lines. Boom. And all right. That's okay. Well, you want Shiri on the first line? No. Come on. Come on with that. Give me a break. You know what? I'm not going to touch it. That's best lines. It's apparently best lines. So I'm going to leave it. On defense, we got... Oh! Yandel and Petrie. Look at them go. And if I... Oh! Yikes. That wasn't good. All right. Well, yeah. We're going to leave it like that. And then if we go to goalies, we got Bishop and Alexander. So yeah. Nice. I think our team's pretty solid. I still don't think we're Stanley Cup winning material. I think we will make the playoffs. I'm going to have to say that... I'm going to say Kyle Connor gets the most points with 72. And then I'll say we get 43 wins. Go ahead, leave your predictions below now. Let's see if you can get it right, like right on the noggin, or, you know, if you at least get kind of close. 2 1 and 1, that's not an awful start. 2 2 and 1, I mean, could be worse. You know what I'm saying? We got the Yotes coming up. I mean, it's not the real Yotes, but it's the Yotes. Oh boy. Oh no. This has gone horribly wrong already. Never mind, we're sick. 13, 6, and 1. We're doing all right. 7 and 1. That's okay. That's okay. It happens. All right, I'm not too upset about it. EA really needs to implement a feature where you can, like, duplicate or sort of, like, I guess just copy and paste a, a create a player because there's some videos I want to make, but holy crap would they take forever to set up. And I don't know if I'm willing to put myself through that. Uh, on the bright side, though, this team's doing unreal. We are absolutely conquering our division maybe i'll just send it you know maybe there's there's one video i want to make maybe i'll just i'll just do it i mean it's gonna take a lot of a lot of work but maybe it'll be worth it hopefully as we do let's enter the trade deadline just to see what is going on here so we got alex ovechkin on the block tory krug jared spurgeon hudobin ranta edler allmark mrazic lundqvist and brian little i would maybe try to make a trade we don't really need one. Our team's doing unreal. So I don't see a point in trying to do so. And uh, with that being said, it is time to enter my favorite screen in the game. Come on. Come on. There it is. Love it. Tori Krug headed to New Jersey for two first round picks and Nybeck. All right. Is that going to be the only one? I think so. So yeah, we are leading our division right now by a few points. And hopefully we don't have a collapse. I mean, our team, just looking at the roster on paper, should have some poise. But, you know, will they actually use that poise to their advantage? Stay tuned. Five points separate us now. I mean, we aren't going to win the President's Trophy, I don't think. But I'd like to at least win the division. And, I mean, it's looking like we are going to... Yeah, we got it down, Pat. There's no way. Um, okay, I was going to say, we have to win one of those games to really secure it. Because I wasn't sure how many they had left. But, yeah, we did it. So we won our division. That's neat. I think I predicted we'd get 43 wins, so I was a little off on that one. Let's check for points, though. Come on. Oh, it's Couturier with 87. Darn you, Couturier. 
anyway, let's check. So we we won the division, 101. And in the entire league, we finished, oh, wow, sixth. We weren't even really that close. because there's a lot of teams competing for it. But there you go. Let's take a guess at who the lowest team to make it in is. Not the actual team, but position. I'm going to say 19. Let's see here. Oh, I'm so close. Come on, I was one off. The Golden Knights barely found their way in. All right, well, let's check out the player stats now, shall we? We got Couturier with 87. Yandel, hello? Yandel with 75 points? All right. We got Kyle Connor with 66 points. Pavelski, 65. Kim Atkinson with 59. Timothy Jimothy, 53. Felino 46. Holy crap, this is like blowing my mind right now. All right, well, good for you guys, I suppose. What a season. And in net, we've got a 905, 277. With 35 wins from Ben Stiffer. And then we got 11, 8, and 2. 9, 16, 262 from Alexander. So let's check out the entire league. And see where they placed on the leaderboards. Um, I'm completely blanking. Bishop. It's Bishop who is not even here. Alright. So yeah, he's just off. Just off. If he was on the screen, it would have immediately been like, hey, that's our guy. But anyway, Matt Murray with the Buffalo Sabres gets the most wins with 41. And then uh, we got Gurgiev there as well with 41. But um, yeah, there's no real insane, like no 926 or some crazy save percentage like that. But there definitely are some goalies here that performed quite well. If we go to all skaters, who won the, of course, it's Sidney Crosby. He takes home the Art Ross. And then we've got John Tavares, 104, Dreisaitl, 103. Good for you. Look at this guy go. Raquel, absolutely lighting it up. 103, Malkin 102, Brad Marchand 102. All right, there you have it, folks. And I guess we will simulate the playoffs and come back to these. But before I do that, New Jersey. All right, and the Flyers 105, but New Jersey technically won the president. So we're going to go ahead and view the lines for New Jersey. All right, let's do that. View lines. we got to find ourselves New Jersey. Go down, down to down. They are right there. All right, so they had Landis Cog, Kadri, and Burakovsky. All right, they got Hughes back. Uh, Yarn Crook, Lee, Adam Ernie, Wenberg, Timoshov. Okay, their team's okay. They had Krug, Damba, Muzzin, Hughes. Very good defensively, I must say. So that's probably where that came from. And then in net, they had Freddie and Bernier. All right, playoff simulating time. Here we go. Sim to this day. Will we get first rounded? Or will we put up a bigger fight than that? Ooh, all right. We're up 2-1 in round one. Love to see it. Oh, no. It's 2-2. Oh, yeah, it's 3-2. Oh, no, it's 3-3. No! Oh, I actually thought we were going to win. I actually got my hopes up. That is a darn shame. The Tampa Bay Lightning take home the Stanley Cup. All right, so even in a fantasy draft, they just can't help themselves. Let's go have a look at their roster, which, I mean, can't really do from the view line screen anymore. Kyle Connor, good for you. Point a game in the playoffs, good stuff. Uh, how do I do that again? I usually go to the stats, actually, I think it is. So, yeah, let's go to the stats here, and let's see who Tampa has on their roster. So, let's go all the way down to T. I'm not sure if it would have been faster to actually go up. It probably would have been, but anyways, they got Hubert Doe, so that's enough right there. Kopitar, Ben... Getzlav, Bufflin, Dadanov. Okay, they have a very good team here. It's all making sense now. Yeah, great team. Great team. In net, they have Marc-Andre Fleury. Okay, so yeah, that just really adds to it. And then they had Eric Comrie as the backup. But um, yeah, he... Well, actually, he saw a decent amount of action. I thought he would have played a lot less games than that. But no, he, he went in there for some. Time for the awards. So we basically know those. All right. And then we got Sidney Crosby with the Art Ross and the Hart. I feel like these are usually a one-two. We got Keith Yandel with the Norris. Fire me up. Tarasenko with the Lady Bang. Kaprizov with the Calder. Consmythe goes to Craig Smith. Vasilevsky with the Vesna and the Jennings. Alexiak gets to Bill Masterson. I feel like these are usually one and two as well. Well, not always, but it's... Pretty common to see it. Um, Paris with the Jack Adams. We got O'Reilly with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay goes to Sid the Kid. And Evgeny Malkin gets the Rocket Richard. So let's have a look at the playoff tree. So that's it, guys. That is the American-born draft. Where should we go next? And 
I guess, yeah, let me know if you have any other draft ideas. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe. Also greatly appreciated. And yeah, the countdown to NHL 22 is on. So let's keep looking forward to it. And I can't wait.